We're back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP, and today I'm going to show you how to make subtle tail snapper with a satay sauce. And I'm making the satay sauce right there. You'll need to go back and have a look at how to make this satay sauce up. Very quick, very simple, very easy, and it's a lot of fun and really tasty. All right, so we've made our sauce and we've actually made it the day before. We're just going to cut out a little bit of the uh, bloodline there that might be in the actual snapper fillet itself and make sure you're using a really good sharp knife obviously my knife needs a little bit more sharpening and make these just nice little portions don't have them too large we want them to fit on a plate nicely and we want the presentation and our guests or ourselves to uh, be able to eat that quite easily now check for any bones use your fingertips and you can see here I've got a little bit of what is left of the gill area of the fish I'm just going to cut that out because that is inedible but we know they have maximized our fillet size out of that particular fish now this is the next day after making our sauce we've had it in the refrigerator it just thickened up considerably that's okay because all we're going to do is add a little bit of water straight into our sauce just like that and we're going to reheat it i'm just going to get a nice little bit of heat happening and thin that sauce out once more now this has got a lot of coconut powder in it it's also got uh, peanuts in it and other herbs and everything else but you'll need to go back once again as i said and have a look how to make it all right we've got a fry pan i'm adding in a nice little knob of butter a tiny bit of oil i'm just using a vegetable oil there melt half that butter down set that aside nice and easy like that and we what we need to do is season our fish up so some freshly ground black pepper some pink himalayan rock salt that goes on and we've got to have we need to season both sides of this okay so turn them over and season those i'm not going to show you that all right now add the other little bit of butter in get it frothing like that nice and hot we want to cook these quickly but nicely as well so it's a medium high heat place your pieces of the snapper straight into that beautiful butter and that little bit of oil there the oil is going to stop that butter from burning too much put those straight in like that get a firm grip on your fish otherwise it will drop okay so we're going to cook those off until, until they start to go opaque i'm going to add in a little bit of dried dill yeah dried dill is fine the uh, fresh dill can be a little bit strong we just want a light little flavor of that dill so once those sides start to go opaque we can take the uh, spatula there where our flipper and flip our fish pieces over and we only need to cook those for about a minute and set those aside here i've got some brown rice i'm pushing that into a ramekin and this is how i make my little rice stacks now put your plate over the top give it a flip give it a tap like you're playing the mongo drums like that and that's going to loosen the rice lift that ramekin off and look at that we've got a beautiful little brown rice stack to go with our fish mm. get your beautiful satay sauce that you have reheated very very simple very easy this recipe and this video is quite quick but if you're going to make the sauce and the fish from scratch allow yourself a little bit of time the sauce does take a little bit of time there put down some of your sauce and then add your fish straight on top just like that mm, how good does that look is that looking restaurant quality or what right simply just uh, garnish that with a little bit of fresh coriander a little bit of fresh chili Mm, and it's going to add another layer of flavor once again and there you have it kp's saddle tail snapper in a satay sauce i hope you really enjoyed watching this one all right thank you so much for watching this video i really do appreciate it if you like this video hit that like button it gives me confidence it should make you feel warm and fuzzy too don't forget to share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media we're trying to grow this channel but more importantly if you want to uh see how to uh, make nice little interesting meals like this well then you need to come and join the family my family hit the subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again i'm off to eat my uh saddle tail snapper in sardé sauce and i will catch you next time bye